It's a beautiful building. As with all Baha'i houses of worship, it has a dome and nine entrances. It symbolizes the unity of all religions and all peoples that is the central purpose of the Baha'i faith. This first Baha'i house of worship in the South Pacific Ocean is perched on the mountainside behind Apia, the capital of Western Samoa. I'm Iranian, and um, I'm from my mother's side, I'm fourth uh, generation Baha'i. From my father's side, I'm third generation Baha'i. Excellence of education and uh, art and science were always emphasized. The, of course, the Baha'i faith has a great emphasis on beauty, on creativity. All these perhaps have had something to do with my training. Hossein Amanat now lives and works in Vancouver, Canada. The architect describes how it feels as a Persian to erect a beautiful house of worship while his fellow believers are being so unjustly persecuted in Iran. It's very difficult to describe my feeling in this respect, but it reminds me of the very famous uh, prophecy of Baha'u'llah about the persecution of his followers in his native land. He says, if they attempt to conceal my faith in the continent, it will rear its head in the midmost of the ocean. And it is really what has happened. You know, this project was a part of a plan by the Baha'i World Center. That means the World Administrative Center of the Faith had decided to build a temple in Samoa. And uh, I was told that maybe I should show some of my sketches about different concepts that I had for this temple, which I had done very casually, to see if uh, any of them would be of favor. And uh, based on that, the World Center, here we call it Universal House of Justice, which is the international body of the faith, they asked me to seriously do this uh, design, and I came up with this design, which is now built. Uh, in fact, after, I think, three years. Mr. Amanat has designed many beautiful structures around the world, beginning with some of the most prestigious modern buildings in Iran, including the Freedom Monument in Tehran. It has become a symbol of modern Iran, his creative works now include buildings in Canada, United States, and China. In addition, he has created outstanding projects for the Baha'i Faith in many countries, which include the striking buildings for the Administrative Center for the Baha'i World. The World Administrative Center of the Baha'i Faith is uh, located in Haifa, Israel. Reason is that uh, prophet founder of the Baha'i faith was exiled in about 150 years ago, 140 years ago, to Ottoman Empire and the Ottomans uh, imprisoned him in uh, Akko, near Haifa, in Palestine, now Israel. And the family stayed there and the Baha'i World Center happens to be there in Holy Land. This center is a complex of five buildings. One of them is not built yet. That's the archives building. That building was already built. It was finished in 1957. The first one I was involved with in about 1972 is the seat of the Universal House of Justice, which is at the center of the, the garden, which is arc-shaped. That's at the apex of this arc is this building, and then the archives is at one side, the Baha'i International Library will be at the other side, and there are other two buildings. One is the center of the study of the text, and the other one, International Teaching Center.